Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Every living soul praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, somebody praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for this morning. You are welcome as you come in. God bless you as you come in. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you as you come in. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 This in the Lord always. This in the Lord always. This in the Lord with my heart and soul. This in the Lord with all my heart. Oh. Hallelujah, my God is good. My God is good, hallelujah, my God is good, he's so good to me. Praise in the Lord, always, always praise in my God, always praise in my God, with my heart and soul. Praise in the Lord with all my heart, oh, hallelujah, my God is good, hallelujah, you are so good, hallelujah, my God is good, he's so good to me, hallelujah, my God is good. Hallelujah, you are so good. Hallelujah, my God is good. You are so good to me. I will sing of the masses of my God forever. I will sing. I will sing. I will sing of the masses of my God forever. I will sing. Of the masses of my God, where my heart we like me no God's faithfulness. I say God's faithfulness, where my heart we like me no God's faithfulness to all generations. Chance I will sing of the masses of my God forever. I will sing, let us sing. I will sing of the masses of my God forever. I will sing of the masses of the Lord. We, my mind, we like me no hallelujah. God's faithfulness, God's faithfulness, we, my mouth, will I may know your faithfulness to all generations. I will sing of the masses of my God forever. I will sing, let us sing. I will sing of the masses of my God forever. I will sing of the masses of the Lord. Come on, lift him. I, I, uh, everybody, I, I, uh, lift him up for the world to see. This is a happy lifter up that I will bring all men unto me. Come on, lift him. I, I, uh, everybody. I, I, uh, lift him up for the world to see. This is a happy lifter up. That will bring all men unto me. God is able, abundantly able to deliver 
and to say, my God is safe, abundantly to deliver those who trust in me. I say, come and see the light, the light of the world. Jesus is the light, oh, hello, hello. Come and see the light, the light of the world. I say, Jesus, you are the light, oh, hello, hello. I have a God who never fails. Jesus should the Lord, you will never fail. I have a God who never fail. My Jesus never fail. He will never fail. I stay forevermore. Amen. Jesus never fail. Amen. Amen. My God never fails. Amen. Amen. Jesus never fails. It will never fail. My God never fails. Forevermore. Come and see you. Come and see. Hallelujah. Come and see you. Come and see. Come and see what the Lord has done. 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 Hey, Yahweh. Hey, Yahweh. Hallelujah. I say, hey, Yahweh. Hey, Yahweh. Come and see what Yahweh. Has done. Come and see what Yahweh has done. Come and see what Yahweh has done. Come and see what Yahweh has done. Hey Yahweh, hey Yahweh, hey Yahweh, hey Yahweh. We come and see what Yahweh has done. 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 Hey Yahweh, hey Yahweh, hey Yahweh. Yahweh, come and see what Yahweh has done. 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 I have a God who never fails. I have a God. Who never fail? I have a God who never fail. My Jesus never fail. He will never fail. I stay forevermore. Amen. Jesus never fail. Amen. He will never fail. Amen. My Jesus never fail. It will never fail, and my God never fail forevermore. And He touched my life with His my light. He touched my life with His my life remains the same no more. Jehovah touched my life with His my light. Forever, forever, he touched my home with his name, my home chain. He touched my home with his name, my home remained the same no more. Jehovah touched my home with his name, 
my home chair. Forever, forever, he touched my life with a smile like He touched my life with a smile. My life remained the same no more. Jehovah touched my life with a smile like this. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. My the warrior, you are great in battle. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name, Jehovah is your name. I say, my warrior, you are great in battle. Jehovah is your name, Jehovah is your name, Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name, Jehovah is your name. My warrior, you are great in battle. Jehovah is your, your name. Lord, I praise you. And I praise you, oh Lord. I praise you. And I praise you. Oh Lord, in my life, I say what you are doing one more time. I lay my hands in praise of your name. Hey, man, I lay my hands in praise of your name. And I praise you, Lord, I praise you. And I praise you, oh Lord, I praise you, and I praise you, oh Lord, in my life, I say what you are doing one more time, dear Lord. I lay my hands in praise of your name. Amen. I lay my hands in praise of your name. I want to welcome you this morning. I bless the name of the Lord as we gather in his name. Wherever you are coming from this morning, are you from the continent of Africa, Asia, Australia, Authentical? Are you from the, the continent of Europe? Are you coming from North or South of America? You are blessed this morning in the name of Jesus. May our life never remain the same in the name of Jesus. And you are welcome into this place. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide more and more in all of us in the name of Jesus. And as we continue, may he take over. May our life and the issues become history. And for the upliftment of his name, for people to turn to God and to God to turn to all of us. As he has spoken in, in Zechariah 1, 1, 2, 3. May that God never leave us or forsake us for one second for the enemy to rejoice. May we turn a new life in the Lord, a new beginning in Christ, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Jesus, wonderful name, my prayer. Amen. You are welcome in this place, mighty Lord. You are welcome in this place, our Father. As we lift our voice in prayer, your honor we will. You are welcome in this place, mighty Lord. Good morning, everybody. Welcome in the name of Jesus. Today is the last Sunday in August. I can't believe this. Next time we meet, it will be the first Sunday in September. I celebrate those who had their birthday from January 1st to this point. May the grace of God abound in every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. 
I celebrated my birthday early this month, and I know the grace of God is sufficient for me and the rest of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us go into the world. May I decrease, and may he increase in all of us as we go together to dissect the things, the word of God. May he be a light unto our darkness, a new beginning indeed, for everything in us to celebrate God. And those things that are not for us, they are against us, they be consuming fire to separate them completely and dethrone them from our lives in Jesus' name. A new, a new beginning. In every troubled home, disappointed homes, in every home where there is no love, where there is no hope, Jehovah, may you resurrect that love in every home. Whatever has separated marriages, may he be a source to come and serve God that we serve and build our life again upon the solid rock of God. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Let us go. Come with me quickly. We're going to do the work. Corinthians. We're going into the first book of Corinthians, chapter 8. Corinthians chapter 8. First Corinthians chapter 8. Jesus is a mighty God. He's a mighty God. Jesus, you are a mighty God. You are a mighty God. All oh, power bow before you. You are a mighty God. All oh, power bow before you. You are a mighty God. First Corinthians chapter 8. And let's start from um chapter, let's start from verse 2 quickly. And if any man think that he knoweth anything, he know nothing. <laughs> it is the Bible. I'm not abusing every, anybody this morning. Whatever I read from the Bible, as it's written, I don't want you to take it personally. It's for correction. It's to, it's, it's to help you. It's to help me. We need to do better. To be alive in Christ, there should be changes in our ways. God does not dwell in ragged places. He doesn't dwell with unrighteousness. So, we don't know nothing. No. Bear that in mind. I know nothing. May the Lord increase in me as I decrease. In Jesus' name. Verse 3. But if any man love God, the same is known of him. God will know you know him. You can hide. This is everything. And verse 4, where we're going. As concerning, therefore, the eating of those things that are offered in sacrifice unto idols, ceremonial things. <laughs> We know that an idol is nothing in the world. You hear me, right? It's nothing in the world, and that there is none other God but one God. It is ceremonial foods. Offer unto idols is nothing, and there is none other God but one. What do you understand by this? My brothers and sisters in the Lord, the point is this. The Lord is trying to tell you. Nothing can deliver you except by the blood of the Lamb. Except by His blood. Walk and put my sins away. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. I say, what can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, oh, precious is thy blood that makes me whole again. Oh, oh the fountain, I know nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, ha, not just by singing in our actions, nothing else. There is no power in ceremonial food. There is no power in offering idols. 
to the gods of this world. Because truly, there is only one God. And people do not understand. There is only one way by which you can have salvation. Not in ceremonial food. Not in any power. There is only one way. And it's through the Lamb. The Lamb. The Lamb of God. The Lamb of God. He himself, he is God. Hallelujah. In the beginning, he is the word. And the word is with us to do the light in our lives. Hmm. My hope is built on nothing else. In Jesus Christ, my Savior. There is nothing you can build your hope upon. All of the gods, huh. all of the way, the sinking sand. May the Lord help us this morning. You know, sometimes it's easier. It is easier said than done. It is so easy to preach, to say, and blah, 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 my mouth. I need to go into action. Are you going into action? Am I going into action? Hear me right. All those powerless power, all those things offered to the idols of this world. You can serve whoever you want to serve, but I'm telling you this morning, there is no other way to heaven. It's only one way. People say, um, well, when you serve uh, an idol, it's a way for you to connect with God. What God? What true, what God are you connecting with? Can there be a unified religion? And who's God? You hear me? Who's God will be God in that temple? <laughs> Ah, my God is God. My God, the only true God that I know is only the only true God. In a unified religion, who would be God in there? Which God are you calling upon? And which God will be in charge? in a unified religion. You may have a pure heart, but if you don't serve the true God, you are not done. Remember in the book, hallelujah, in Luke 18, 18, a rich man came to God, Jesus Christ, and he said to him, Master, how can I reach eternal kingdom? How can I inherit the kingdom of God? He said, Jesus, I have observed everything since my youth. I didn't commit fornication, having sex before marriage. Even when I was married, I didn't commit adultery. The Ten Commandments of God I fulfill them all. <laughs> Jesus said, yes, you did. Hallelujah. Hear me right this morning. Jesus said to him, yes, you did. But, hey, yet you lack something. What did you lack in the Lord this morning? For you to inherit the kingdom of God. For you to put your trust only in the only true God. Titus 3.8, we're going back, okay? We're coming back to that. Titus 3.8. Oh, Father, you deliver Paul and Silas. And you deliver Paul and Silas. My Father, deliver Paul and Silas. You shall surely deliver me. You deliver Paul and Silas, my father. You deliver Paul and Silas, 
my Jesus, you deliver for the salah. He shall surely deliver me. You deliver for the salas, my Father. You deliver for the salah. Jesus, you deliver for the salah. You shall surely deliver me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lord, I praise you, and I praise you, Lord, and I praise you, Lord, Lord, I praise you, Lord, Abba Father. Abba Father, Abba Father, Abba Father. We are the Rahiba, my father, Rahiba. Jehovah Jireh, we are the Rahiba. Whatever will make any family run out of skelter, Father, cancel it by your fire in the name of Jesus. Any family in the whole wide world. My home, my bloodline, I pray this morning and let your blood appeal for us in the name of Jesus and stand in the gap. Never let me of this world prevail, Father. Father, Jehovah, you reign, you reign, you reign, you reign. Thank you for your testimony. In my life, I have a reason to praise the Lord. In my home, I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise the Lord. Me, I have a reason to praise you, Lord. I have a reason to praise you, Lord. And I have a reason to praise my God, Jehovah Jireh. I have a reason to praise you, Lord. I have a reason to praise you, Lord. Feeling God, I have a reason to praise you, Lord. My God, Rahiba Father. Set us free from every bondage of satanic forces and powers, principalities and generational causes. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now, let's go to Book of Titus 3.8, quickly. Let's start from verse 6. Which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior. 7. They are being justified by his grace. Okay, should be made here yes, according to the hope of eternal life. His grace is sufficient for you and me, and it's that's where we're going. This is a faithful saying that these things I will that thou affirm constantly that they which have believed in God only one true God, no ceremonial foods, might be careful to maintain good works. Let your faith be built upon nothing else but on Jesus Christ. Make it your foundation in the name of Jesus. Only one true God. Make it your foundation and be of good report, good works. Don't go back, no backsliding. These things are good and profitable unto me. When you do right, it is profitable for your soul to win eternal kingdom. So, back again to Luke 18, 18, and the rich man asked, how can I have eternal kingdom? How can I inherit it? And he says, today, to each and every one of us, not by eating ceremonial food or serving idols, not by a unified temple, a unified religion, because who, which God, he says I'm a jealous God, whose God will be God in that temple? And he told the rich man in the book of Luke 18, 
it said unto him, it said, yet you fulfill every ten, every one of the ten commandments. You, you are not lacking in any of my commandments. But let me tell you, you still lack something. The man was, he, he was lost in transit. Oh, wherever. What did I do wrong now? After ten commandments, is there something beyond it? And Jesus said, yes, you lack something. I like something. Ah, Father, fix me this morning. In the name of Jesus. What do I lack? I don't know. Father, lead me on. You gotta ask yourself what you lack. Is it faith? Do you, you are, are you an unbeliever and you are still a Christian? Are you still being fed with milk when you should be eating solid food? You should be preaching the gospel. You should be saving a soul. It says one, like in the hundred shape. One was lost. That is the only one he wanted you to save. And you are done. You are ready for eternity. Save one so old today. You're ready. And your salvation is granted. In the name of Jesus. You have salvation guaranteed. Amen. And he said to the man, go sell all you have. And give it to the poor. Oh, and follow me. That's it in life. If you want to serve God, you don't want, you don't look for vanity. And that doesn't mean you don't have a car. Yes, that doesn't mean you can go walk. You hear me? The work, working for God is evangelism. Doing the right thing among the living children of God, okay? And at the same time, if you don't have food in your stomach, you're not gonna fast tomorrow. If you have opportunity to get out there, go walk. But if you have sponsors, like in the book of uh, uh, Luke 8, where we have Mary Magdalene sponsoring the, Christ, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, you can compare apple with oranges though. And don't go rob Peter to people. Don't go, oh, oh, hallelujah, to be seen or heard. Don't go rob people oh, and come and pay tight out of it. Ah, your punishment will be worse than that method of poor on Sodom and Gomorrah. How, can, how dare you rob people? How dare you do yahoo yahoo and you give them tight? You think it will be acceptable to God? Ah, you just caused the pastor, you gave that kind of money to their salvation. Hey, hear the word of God. By works, what kind of work you have that are profitable to men? You jagu, 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 you give tight. <laughs> you just cost your pastor salvation. And they, 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 Jesus says, sell all you have and put it down. At the, at for the people, homeless. For the people, the blind, the crippled. Those who are orphans of the world, that they have no hope for tomorrow. Lay down. You're so rich, you accumulate. <laughs> hey, the day you die, I pity you. You won't remember Is your trillion, quadrillion, whatever trillion you have. In the bank, you won't remember nothing. If they're faithful, if they want to be kind to you, they will buy the best coffee. Mm -hmm. And they will dig the normal hole for you. Yours will be different. You can sleep more than the, the regular pit. Mm -hmm. Does you are, does you can return. Remember today to do right. Fix your ways before it's too late. Tomorrow, we may not have a chance to go back. Like the rich man and Lazarus. He says, go tell my people. Abraham said, Elijah preached to them. They didn't hear. Many, many prophets came. Hey, today we're doing it again. I'm not a prophetess. I'm not a... 
prophet. I'm nothing but a child of God trying to be obedient. I, wish, I want God to elevate me more and more in the things of his, in the name of Jesus. The titles, they're just names. Mm, Pastor, da, 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 da. are you doing the work? Hallelujah. They which have believed in God might be careful to maintain, maintain your stand in the Lord, which are profitable unto men, which will change souls, which will be a salvation, a save heaven to unto salvation for the lost soul of Israel in our world, in our generation. Sum it in quickly. Because we need to pray. May God help us. May we never do in vain. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm 18. It delivered me. Let me see what it says. Let's start from 17. It delivered me from any strong enemy and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. You hear me? When, when, hmm. This is our prayer. When sorrows come, to take my joy away, he holds the key to my life. I say, when powers come to take my joy away, you hold the key to my life. Ask him to hold the key to your life. When danger comes, when generational causes come, what it is, when they don't come, To take your joy away, to make your heart be full, be sorrowful. Who has the key? He has the key. May he keep that key permanently in his hand, in his hands, in whichever way he wants to do it. Just that we're safe, secured in his hands. Safe, secured. Amen. And 18, they prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. And 19, finally, he brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Do you know God so loved the world? John 3, 16, everybody knows that. Whoever would believe that his son is only because he's one, they shall be redeemed, and they will have eternal life. Amen. Are you ready for a new life in Christ? He will deliver you. Ceremonial food, they cannot deliver you. Things you offer to idols, those idols, they have no mouth. They can't praise God. They cannot bless you. They have arms they do not embrace. There is no love in them because they are not of God. When you offer to idols, when you offer to satanic forces and power, when they come back, they will take what you have. They will take what they gave you in multiple. Hey! Look at what happened to Job. That was even Job that believed in God. How much more? Those who believe in sacrificial things of this world. Ceremonial food. They kill chicken, they give you the less growing up. They're taking away your, your testimony, your destiny. Ah, marriage is God of restoration. Hmm. If not for God, I don't know where we in the land of the living. Enemy kill, they steal, they, they, they stole from me. They stole from me and they destroyed. It is grace. Is sufficient for my life. I will never go back anymore. Hallelujah. When I remember what the Lord has done, I will never go back anymore. I say no, 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 no. I will never go back anymore. I say no, 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 no. I will never go back anymore. 
I said, when I remember what my God has done, I will never go back anymore. I said, no, 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 no. I will never go back anymore. My darling, right here, my father, my darling. We have it right here, but ah, let them see your handwriting on the wall. Every power from today that want to invade my life, my children, my husband, my foundation. Ezekiel, oh, oh, Jehovah. Ezekiel, oh, oh, 18. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 18. Ezekiel 18. Let's go quickly so we can go into prayers. Ezekiel 18. Open Ezekiel yeah, 18. And we're going into, uh, we start from verse 1. Ezekiel 18, verse 1. My early Rahiba, Jehovah, my early Rahiba, my early Rahiba, my early Rahiba. From today, after this prayer sections we have in today, some people will have a new testimony. Trust me, if you believe, there will be changes in your life. And you you better tell. Tell the world if you're not telling me. From today, the Lord said, all those who believe this morning, from all these things, in a couple of days, you start to do the right thing. You will start to see the new beginning in the Lord. Changes will come your way. Amen. Your life will just change for better. This will start to work for you. Amen. You have to taste of the Lord and know that it is real. Amen. Ezekiel 18. Let me start quickly from one. The word of the Lord came unto me saying, What mean ye that ye use this proverb? Listen. Concerning the land of Israel saying, The father have eaten sour grapes and the children teeth are set on edge. Ha. <laughs> and... Three, as I live, says the Lord, from today, ye shall not have occasion anymore to use this proverb in Israel, in my home, in your home. Hey, do you hear that? The Lord has spoken, Ezekiel 18.3. He says, from today, whether generational causes have been troubling your soul, body, and spirit, troubling your children, troubling your business, troubling your marriage, what it is, because our fathers, they've eaten sour grapes and set our teeth on air. He said, never repeat it no more, because it will never stand no more. You will not bear the punishment of your ancestors. You are on your own. Here it is. The more you change your ways, your life will start to be better in the Lord. Amen. You hear me? May the Lord help us. May the Lord help us. He said he will do it. He will deliver us. We need to be ready. Are we ready? Like he said to the rich man, it will be so difficult for them to enter into the kingdom of God. Even a camel will be able to enter into the eyes of a needle. But for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God, except you do right with your money. Amen. You can do yahoo, 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 and be rich, and you give tight and think it's acceptable. You just cause your pastor trouble. You just call your, your bishop trouble. You just cause all those sitting in the pulpit of God. Those are the altar. You just caused them trouble. Did you slaughter? Ah, did you kill to be rich? Mm -hmm. Have you slaughtered? Are you the adronicer? Ah, you see somebody's position and then you accumulate wealth and you give one out tight? You think God will accept you? But if you change today, there is time. There is room at the cavalry for you, for me. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, Lord, I thank you this morning. 
and I bless you. As we go into prayers, oh Lord, never let us do in vain. Be God and let the word of your promise abide with us. You said today, it doesn't matter what those uh, great, 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 great grandfather ate. It's not my portion no more. It's not going to be the portion of my children, my home. It doesn't matter. Your word is yes and amen because you are not a man. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us go. Prayers. Begin to thank God. Begin to worship him this morning. Begin to say, ah, Father, I thank you. Abba, Father, Abba, Father, Abba, Father, Abba, Father, oh, Abba, Father. Abba Father, Lord, I worship you, Lord, I worship you, Lord, I worship you, Lord, I worship you, and I worship you, Lord, I worship you, and I worship you. Thank you, Father, for this morning. We bless you. We lift you up on high. Let your grace abound in every corner of our life. Be God and let us remain truly sons and daughters of Zion. In Jesus' name, amen. First Corinthians 8, 4. Eating ceremonial food. Offer to idols. Don't turn yourself into an idol. God of this world. Don't touch it. Don't drink it. Lest you become an idol and unacceptable to God. What are these things called ceremonial food? <laughs> when you put anything together that is not of God, has no breath, and you feed them with what human beings should be eating, you put on them salt pepper, you pour it on a mountain, you pour it on uh, on his way. I don't know what is, I don't know, because it says those who do them are like them. Jehovah, pray that God help me this morning. I want to rely on you. Don't put me to shame. I have people saying because they prayed, they prayed, they prayed, God did not hear them, so they turn into another God. Oh, Father, hear the cry of your children this morning. Delay is not deny a father. Let them realize that. Begin to pray. Father, I know you hear me when I pray. Because your promise in the book of Isaiah 65, the Lord said it in Isaiah 65, 24. It says, before they say a word, and because before they pray, you have heard and you have answered. Let this be my portion and spot in the name of Jesus. Let my hope be built on you and nothing else in the name of Jesus. Because you said in Isaiah 65, 24, and it shall come to pass that before they call, you said before they even say a word, I will answer. And while they are here speaking, I will hear. You will have answered us. Hallelujah. Father, let it be our portion this morning in the name of Jesus. Here and answer us, give us a new life, a new beginning in you in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we offer ourselves as a living sacrifice. Let it be acceptable unto you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Titus 3.8 let my faith be built on you. Begin to pray. Believe in God. And keep up the good works. Amen. That are profitable. Seven I do. They are not profitable to men. Father, help us. Let us put our hope in you. Let us our hope be built upon the solid rock. Let us learn to decree and declare in your name. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Teach us to pray too. So we don't pray amiss. And where we pray amiss, Father, help us. Say yes to those things that are profitable to our soul, body, and spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Psalm 18 19. Ask God to deliver. Deliver our world, our world of COVID and Delta strain. The Delta variance, may the Lord God of Israel deliver us. Deliver us. Deliver us. Deliver the four corners of the world. 
deliver any nation, any state in America, any part of the continent, any part of the nations of the world that this COVID Delta are destroying. He almost wiped out India. Oh Lord, bear for your grace. You deliver them. Deliver the rest of us in the name of Jesus. Those who are humanized, those who are not immunized yet, oh Lord, deliver, deliver. Let us learn to do the right thing in the name of Jesus. Our good work, love thy neighbor as yourself. Never kill. It's not when you take a gun, only that you kill people. Sometimes what your mouth is saying, your actions, you destroy people. You're just turning the way of progress of others. You turn yourself into an enemy of progress. Tell Papa God to give you a new chance. Begin to pray. You just hate to see people prosper. Uh-uh, you're an enemy of progress. You just hate, you're so jealous. Instead of you asking God to do yours even better than this one, it rejoice with those rejoicing. Ask God from today. Me, I want to rejoice with people rejoicing. So my, my joy in the Lord will be enormous, uncountable. And we drop all our issues and point the cavalry for our takeover in the name of Jesus. Thank you for hearing us in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, lastly, in Ezekiel 18.3, he said, we will not have vocation to say generational causes did us this and that and that and that. The causes placed upon our ancestors from the day one of Adam and Eve. It will never stand no more. It will never hold upon our lives. Ah! We will not receive a cause. Because not the Lord said those that he has blessed. When Balaam tried it, hey, with your slimy sword of fire and your angel, you cross this path. Ah! Mary, did, 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 did. Cross the path of those that want to cost me and my household because I bless your name, Father. And I do the things that you ask me to do. Who are you? <laughs> Who is this Lord that answered by fire? Who are you, Lord? You answer it with thunder. I say you are the God of Elijah. You answer it with fire. I say you are the God of Elijah. You answer it with thunder. I say, who is this Lord? That answer it with fire. I say, who is this God? That answer it with thunder. I say, you are the God of Elijah. And you answer it with fire. Hallelujah. You are the God of Elijah. You answer it with thunder. Like you dealt with Balaam the prophet. And you brought him to his knees. Hallelujah. Like you dealt with Saul on his way to Damascus. Hallelujah. And he became the best of the apostles. Hallelujah. Like you dealt with the king of this world, Nebuchadnezzar, I put the children of the living God, and you fought, you were number four, in the fierce fire. Ah, never shall it be hard from today that our forefathers did something wrong, and they set our teeth on edge, and Adam did this, and Eve did that, who Lord set us free. Like you did. Hallelujah. For Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego. Hallelujah. Ah, you restore the throne of Solomon. Truly, you are God, Jehovah. If you were to base it on the behavior of King David, Solomon would not be the richest king in knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And 
wealth. See? David ate sour grapes and you refuse to set the title Solomon on edge. Therefore, Father, you are a real God. Never let me bear the punishment of my ancestors in the name of Jesus. Say your prayers. This is real. Hallelujah. Never uh, uh, let me bear the punishment of my ancestors and my own children, Father, in the name of Jesus. Never let them bear my punishment. Hear me, Father, and help me where I went wrong in my life. Growing up and still not relenting. May there be a new beginning in me, Father, for the world to know you are God. And that I, I am daughter of Zion, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Everybody in Jesus' name, in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Son of God. In Jesus' name, amen. I am fearfully made. <laughs> From today, I am wonderfully made. For I belong to God. And I resemble him. I am fearfully made. I am wonderfully me, and I belong to God, and I resemble him. That's why there, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> whenever he hears me singing, I'm the soul, the apple of his eyes. That's why the Satan trembles. Whenever he hears me singing, I'm the soul. And the apple of his eye. That's why the powers tremble. Whenever they hear me singing, I'm the soul. And the apple of his eye. Change your ways. Tomorrow may be too late. They call you for prayers. You send arrow to them. And you're a pastor. <laughs> Our God is a God of chances. You're going to bear your own punishment, not for your children. Or children to come. If you don't have any descendants, you are on your own. Like I said, whoever we rebuild the, the wall of Jericho. From today, you will plan if you don't have children with your soul. And you will pack it up with your soul. Because the Lord will not revenge the sin of the fathers upon their children. In Jesus' name. Share this testimony with somebody. Turn in your life, and the grace of God will abound for you and me in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Join me on Facebook, on, no, on YouTube after this session. Share this video with somebody. Let us all change our ways. Couple of days, trust me, you try. The Lord said you will start to see changes in everything you do. Amen. Just try and don't go back. After you start the good works, no relenting. God help us in Jesus' name. And next week, join me, first Sunday of September. Join me at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in America. Central 10, uh, a mountain area in America. Join me at 10, I mean 9, California, 11 minus 8, minus 3. Join me at 8 a.m. God bless you. And if you're coming from the continent of West Africa, plus 5. Join me at 4 p.m. your time East Africa, plus 7, 6 p.m. your time from Asia. Join me plus 11, depending on your area. Join me at 11, and that will be 10 p.m. for you. In Italy, people, plus 6, join me 5 p.m. Europe, plus 5, join me at 4. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And it depends on where you're coming from, from Europe as well. Bye for now. Join me on YouTube.